Okay, today we talked about hydrostatic forces acting on planar surfaces, and I just want to give you the, the, the real general results that, that we uh, got to today, where we have a surface that is at some angle to the horizontal, and we're going to defi or define the coordinate y to be the coordinate in the plane of that surface. And the angle that, angle, the angle that, that um, coordinate makes with the horizontal is alpha. Now, what we want to focus on is saying we have a distributed pressure force acting on this surface. It's supposed to be perpendicular to the surface everywhere, increasing with depth. And so the question becomes, what is the equivalent hydrostatic force act that we can uh, apply in place of that distributed force? So we have this F hydrostatic, which is described by its magnitude and where it acts, and where it acts we denote as YR. We're going to use the subscript C, YC, to denote the location of the centroid of the surface. This be an O, centroid of the surface. And so what we're interested in is defining um, how well, the magnitude of this force and, and where it acts. So the, the basic results, uh, first of all, I'll just note that the force has to be perpendicular to the, uh, to the surface, uh, definition of the, the normal forces, normal stresses that come from pressure. The magnitude of the force, which I'll just denote as F sub H now, is given by the pressure at the centroid times the area of the surface. And so this P sub C is the pressure at the centroid. Not the centroid of the pressure distribution, but the, the pressure at the centroid of the surface. Then the line of action is defined as being offset from the centroid, yr minus yc, based on the second moment of the shape of the plate relative to the centroid, divided by the centroid position times area. So this i sub xc is the second moment around the centroid. So everything here is defined relative to the centroid of the plate. And so um, a first step is always identify the centroid of the surface that you're analyzing, whether it's a square, rectangle, ellipse, triangle, find the centroid of that shape. Then calculate the pressure at the centroid to define the uh, magnitude of the hydrostatic force. Then also use the position of the centroid and the second moment around the centroid to calculate the position of the force. And with that, you can then calculate moments and do the uh, analyses that are usually required in these kinds of problems.